Hello, welcome to today's devotional. Today, I want to talk about be willing. I want to talk about willingness. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this great day. Thank you for your word you want to use to besought us. We ask that you speak to us the language we will understand in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Be willing. Psalms 110 verse 3. Thy people shall be willing on the day of thy power in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. In the day of his power, thy people shall be willing. When God wants to do something, he prompts the hearts of men. Remember what is written about Jesus. Zeal for thy house consumes me. Willingness is very, very important. When God wants to make moves on earth, he causes men to be willing. He tests up the heart of men. Even the weak, he tests up their hearts because he knows that their strength to carry out divine assignments is not in themselves, but it is in God. When God wants people to take up positions and do exploits for him, he tests up willingness in their hearts. But a lot of times, even when our spirit is willing, our flesh is weak. What do we need to do at that time? Number one, we need to pray. And number two, we need to also stir up our physical bodies so that we can move. We need to motivate ourselves. We need to transport. We need to look for ways to transport the willingness in the spirit into our body so that we can be energized. We can be motivated enough to move. Matthew chapter 26 verse 41 says, Wash and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Another thing we need to do is deal with the point of our weakness. What is it that brings weakness to your life? What is that aspect of your life that makes you not to be willing? You need to deal with it. It could be the people you are living with. Your point of weakness that is making you not to be willing could be your environment. It could be the kind of activities you engage yourself into. It could be eating too much. Sometimes when you eat too much, it weakens you. It could be social media. It could also be not understanding God's timing and God's plans. Be willing. In the days of his power, what is it that God wants you to do for him this season? Are you willing to do it? Has God prompted your heart, yet you are not willing? What is it that is making you to lose that eagerness what is it that is making you to lose that focus have you been willing and now you are becoming weak you need to refire yourself you need to rekindle the fire you need to fill yourself with the word of god with prayer with fasting i don't know who god is using this message to address this moment if God is laying anything in your heart, please be willing. Don't look back. Keep moving. And the Lord God Almighty will give you strength. A lot of times it's not about the level of strength we have in store. It is about our zeal 
it's, a, it's about a willingness and then God will release strength from above. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for your word today. We ask that you enable this word to move us. Enable this word to pull us along even when we are weak. Help our hearts to be willing to do your will. Take away every thing that is not yours, that is pulling us backward. Lord, we pray that you help us to remove anything that is pulling us backward, anything that is making us not to be willing enough, anything that is making us not to be effective. As we go about our work today, we pray that this day be blessed. May this day receive the blessings of the Lord. May this day be useful for us. Thank you, Lord. Forgive all our sins and let nothing hold us back. Forgive us the sins of laziness and of stubbornness, of resisting your will. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.